With the creation of the Marker Warden, Boscalis has carried out one of the largest environmental restoration projects in Europe. This immense operation involved dredging around 30 million cubic meters of sand, sediment, clay and silt from the Markermeer Lake. It was also a unique project in that it marked the first time that land in the Netherlands was reclaimed from water on this scale to benefit nature rather than people. Commissioned by the Dutch Society for the Preservation of Nature, the federal government and the province of Flevoland, Boscalis designed and built five nature islands in the lake in accordance with the revolutionary building with nature concept. The Marker Warden have quickly developed into an area rich in animal and plant life. The current shape of the Markermere Lake was formed in 1976, when the Houtrib Dyke was created between the cities of Enkhuizen and Lelystad. This dike was the starting point for a new polder, which, however, was never realized. As a result, the Markermere was cut off from open water. The absence of currents resulted in a blanket of fine sediment at the bottom of the lake, which had disastrous consequences for the fish and bird population. The Marker Warden are restoring the ecological balance. The islands form an archipelago spanning around 1,000 hectares. They are protected from stormy weather by a long sand dam and low dunes that are connected by a breakwater. The creation of these islands involved the use of the Cutter Suction Dredger ADAX, a spray pontoon, three crane vessels and earth-moving equipment. First, ring dikes were built out of sand. Then the sediment was dredged from the bottom of the lake. Layer by layer, the sediment was sprayed within the ring dikes and left to settle. The largest sediment particles settled closest to the spray nozzle, creating texture at the bottom of the lake. Sand hills were built in the water at the back of the islands and rows of stakes were placed in the lake bed. This resulted in gradual transitions from land to water, creating creeks and swamps with clear water. The ideal environment for aquatic plants to flourish and for fish to spawn. The soft top layer of soil on the islands slowly dried out, leaving a crusty surface strong enough to enable plant growth and for birds to forage for food. The largest island measures 250 hectares and features a 700-metre-long beach. Boscalis has built a number of facilities on the island for nature lovers, including a jetty, footpaths and wooden walkways stretching for around 15 kilometres, bird observation points and a spectacular lookout tower. Strict rules apply to the visitors of the island because birds rule the roost and there are a lot of birds. Researchers have already counted thousands of sand martins, avocets, shovelers and black terns, as well as rare breeding species such as Kentish plovers and even long-tailed ducks, an extremely uncommon species in the Netherlands. Flamingos, bats and spiders have been spotted on the islands, and more than 200 insect species have been counted. The flora is also thriving and includes bulrush, marsh fleawort and many other plant families. The water on and surrounding the islands is inhabited by spawning fish species such as roach, eyed, bleak and the three-spined stickleback. Researchers agree that the marker warden provide a positive impulse to the entire ecosystem. The project has generated new knowledge about building with fine sediment and improving the water quality. Boscalis will remain responsible for the maintenance of this unique new nature reserve in the coming years. With the realization of the Marker Wadden, Boscalis has created a new horizon in the Markermere Lake.